ancient suit of armor to life. His assistants wheel out a large crate and move it into position. Both the front and back doors are opened, and the magician makes his entrance. Piece by piece, he begins to build the suit of armor. It is made of solid steel and once fully constructed will weigh more than a full grown man. This is one of magic's oldest illusions. Some believe that it dates back more than a century. As the suit begins to take shape, you can almost feel the life force flowing into the armor. At least I can. The magician fastens the right arm to the torso. Let me assure you that there is no place to hide inside the crate. Now for the other arm. He picks up the helmet and puts it in place. Finally, the suit of armor is complete. The doors are closed. First the front door, then the back. But wait, the magician has forgotten one very important piece, the sword. This is supposedly the key to the armor's magical powers. The assistants perform a ritual dance. I'm not sure if that's going to help bring the suit of armor to life, but it uh, works for me. When the doors are opened, it looks as if nothing has changed, but looks can be deceiving. The masked magician holds out the sword. Suddenly, the suit of armor comes to life. How is that possible? Here are the secrets. As the crate is slowly brought out, the magician is already inside. And so is an actor dressed in a suit of armor. Notice that when the crate is opened, the back door is opened a split second ahead of the front door. This gives our actor just enough time to hide from view. This simple misdirection makes it appear as if the crate was always empty. Now the magician assembles the suit of armor. Once the front door is closed, the magic really begins. Our actor hustles inside the crate and moves the suit of armor into position so it can be concealed from the audience's view. Outside, our dancers are doing a great job of distracting the audience. This is important because it takes our actor quite some time to strap the suit of armor to the back door. So when the door swings open, the empty suit of armor will be out of view and our actor can take its place. The front door is opened, and the audience has no idea that they are looking at a duplicate suit of armor.